Hi, this is Andrew Curry and Nathan Esters, and we are doing our project on the FANUC LR Mate 200 ID 4S robot. And our project is about jogging the FANUC robot using world, tool, and joint modes. So, this is how you'd start up the FANUC robot. As we can see right now, it's currently booting up the system, so that'll take a minute or so. On the back of this controller, we have, uh, they're called the dead mans, and it's to make sure that the robot didn't hit you and kill you, so that you're actually still holding on to the controller while you're using it in manual mode. And the way that we would use these dead mans is you would squeeze one of them in while you're using it, and then when the system is properly booted up you're gonna see a fault code which we'll show you in a minute and that fault code is telling you that a dead man was released and so you have to hold that in which one minute here there's there's your fault that red right there so what we do to reset this fault code is we hit the one of these dead mans in the back and then you'll hit the reset button and that'll make the fault go away so if we release fault trips again and says the dead man switch was released so we'll do it one more time reset and then to move the robot itself what we have to do is hold one of the shift buttons on either side and then we can hit the different buttons the X Y and Z axes to make it move which I'll up the speed here so we can actually see it so as you can see the robots moving and then the way you switch, right now we are in the joint mode, you would switch by hitting coordinate, let's see, and then you'll have your different modes pop up, your tool, world, joint, user. Alright, so uh, we're going to show you the, the, three, the three modes, three basic modes that we would jog the robot in. Uh, I'm gonna start with joint mode, which if you look at the robot and I try to move excess, let me up the speed, excess one, excess one, two, three, four, five, and six. So joint mode basically moves each axis individually. And then if I switch to world mode, up to speed again, this world mode moves the robot based on the position of the tool, but it does not it does not use the angle of the tool. So let me just this, this would be positive Z. As you can see, it's moving the tool up and down without using the angle of the tool. And then I will switch to tool, which is the same as world, except it will take the angle of the tool or the tooling into consideration. So if I do negative Z, positive Z. As you can see, it's using the angle of the tool.